No, para que le digas que ya estamos aquí. Sí, habla del pollo. Hola, Horacio, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Teacher, yo tengo, he tenido problemas y no sé si voy a, a tener. ¿Me escucha, teacher? Yes, I can listen to you. Yes, I can listen. Ah, ok. Es que desde el jueves yo estoy fuera del de Salvador, teacher, y ahorita es, iba en carretera. Entonces, este, eh, no me pude conectar ni jueves ni viernes a, hasta ahora, pero igual me van pasando datos. Eh, voy en carretera por si se me llega a desconectar la, la, la señal, teacher. Ok, bueno, este pendiente siempre. Yo voy a estar eh, pendiente de, de, de que usted esté conectado y cualquier cosa me avisa. Y este, ahí, ahí estamos conectados. Este, no, tiene... sí, aquí estamos poniendo en práctica todas las clases. <risa> That's <risa> the best part. Unidos. De verdad, qué chivo. <risa> sí. Qué chévere. Sí, sí, entonces, por eso es que aquí han dado con uno, con, en la boda de, uno, de, de un amigo. Hey, that's so nice. <risa> I want to have friends like that. <risa> <laughs> okay, perfect, Horacio. Uh, well, the thing is that we are doing the we are doing the survey today. I don't know if you have enough internet for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Then, oh, oh, yeah. Hoy okay. hacemos la encuesta de satisfacción. Eh, no sé si tiene suficiente internet okay. para eso. Sí, vea. Me imagino que, que se puede conectar. Yo creo que sí. Va, sí, porque este ahorita ya vamos llegando a, a, al hotel donde donde estamos y por si escucha. Hay, Estamos cerca del aeropuerto, entonces por eso es que... It is okay, ya espero ya ahí está de, Ah, ok. Eh, para poderme conectar. Perfecto, okay, perfecto. Teacher. Great. Don't worry. Gracias por avisarme. Ok. Hello, José Luis. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Welcome. How are you? Great. Great. It was like, great. <laughs> it didn't sound that great. <laughs> well, welcome. Hello, Rafael. Welcome. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a pleasure to have you here. I hope you had a nice weekend. And for sure, I hope you are ready for all the things that we're going to do today. It is our last day together. Uh, I am so sad, but I hope to see you next year. Definitely. I hope to be with you next year. It I is, so. yeah, it is, it is very, well, I, I always think the same, right? I always think that it is nice to have a second time, the same group or a third one or a fourth one. So I hope to see you in the next, level next year yeah i will be praying for that well so uh, welcome everybody it's right now it's eight so i was a little bit early today is it raining near your house yes it yeah. is it's yeah. raining yeah and it has been raining a lot yesterday it was raining really hard and i was like what's going on <laughs> Pasamos de noviembre sin ti a November rain, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That was like, okay, what's going on? Yesterday, I had the opportunity to be in Chalchuapa, and it was raining, but extremely hard. And I was like, what's going It's on? Right. Said, my, my brother tells me that. Yeah, he, he do, but it was raining really hard. Kiara, you are all wet. Ash, ya vino la que era toda mojada. Ay, oh my God. My dog loves water. I mean, every time it rains, she runs to the patio to get wet. She's unique. <laughs> well, today uh, we're going to work on the last activities of the class. We are going to have a short practice this uh, for past tense and I ask you to investigate a little bit about your favorite person your favorite um, famous person or it could be about you or it could be about a member of your family or it could be about someone that you consider 
important or famous, right? Because you are going to be talking a little bit about uh, this person. And if you didn't investigate about anyone, you can talk about yourself, right? And it is okay because you are also important and famous as well. So you can use your own information. You can talk about yourselves. And uh, this is going to be uh, a short activity in groups. So we're going to work on that today. At 8.30, we are going to do the survey. And this survey has like different steps to follow. We are going to, to, uh, to watch the instructions. Then we are going to work on it uh, together. And then uh, you are going to send me a screenshot of it when we finish. So that's why we're going to be working on it together. We're going to be working on this as a group. So um, we can have it complete uh, at the same time, right? That is the, the idea of the survey because INSAFOR only accepts one, uh, one try for this survey. And I hope that you uh, haven't done it yet, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing today. And after that, we're going to work in the mini presentations about the, the topic. Hello, bad girl. Tenemos a la batichica aquí, entonces todo va a salir bien. Yeah. Hello, teacher. If bad girl is here, everything is going to be fine. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Paulita says that she's driving. Paola, be careful. Okay, hello to the rest of you who have just joined. Mr. Nelson, Blanquita, Ellen Nelson, Carlita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And Aleida, our superhero of the night. Look at Ellen Nelson giving us Carita with a chocolate. <sighs> our last night. Yeah. No, this But, is this is one before the last one. They always say that. Siempre habrá una siguiente, so don't worry. I hope that because uh, to be honest, I really like uh, to be in this group and you as our teacher. I really appreciate all your help <laughs> and that you are a very pushing person to learn. <laughs> <laughs> to make, to I, make love, I, I love that word. <laughs> I will add it to my to my CV, right? Thank you very much. Tengo una oh, nueva well, una nueva actitud <laughs> para añadir en LinkedIn. Pushing. Pushing, yeah. No, yeah, no, very it, pushing person, but, but that is good. It's so good because uh, as as um as a student, as a learned person, uh, you need it because Sometimes you are very shy or you have many doubts if you are doing well the process uh, of the pronunciation. But the best thing that I um, admire you is this one. When somebody is learning, uh, sorry, when somebody is uh, reading a paragraph or a conversation, you never uh, interrupt in the moment that we um, that we didn't pronounce don't pronounce uh, well that word and all their teachers do that in this case you you didn't <clears throat> you didn't do never with us and that is important with us because if you don't uh, stop at the moment that we are uh, reading For me, it's very important because we continue uh, <clears throat> learning, and at the end, we know which word is not well pronounced. That is very important for me. Thank you very much, Aleida. You know, uh, yeah, ma many people might think that it is like, I the teacher, my God, she's always writing, she's always asking, she's always telling me, she's always doing. But, you know, uh, I am. I am like that with myself and I am like, I have to do this. I have to do it better. I have to improve. I have to improve. And I, and I ask myself a lot. So whenever I have a group of students, I like to push them to their best limits. I think we, as, as human, we say, no, this is my, my level and I am never going to pass from here. And you can do a lot more. 
it's just a little bit of pushing you outside the box. Because you say like, no, es que siempre he sido así, no voy a cambiar, mire, me ha costado siempre y siempre me ha costado. No, because maybe you are not doing that extra effort that is required. It's like, ay, que me cuesta el inglés, teacher, a mí no me pasa el inglés. But you don't do anything about it. Pero no repasamos, no estudiamos, no investigamos, no leemos. So it's, it's a matter of, yeah, it's a culture from El Salvador, but I, I, I really like to create different human. I, I really like to have critical people who think about like, hey, nunca he investigado esto. Nunca me he metido a YouTube a ver videos. Nunca he bajado Duolingo. Nunca he bajado una aplicación de inglés. Nunca me he puesto a practicar todos los días. So that's why I, I love that. And I really like the group because you challenge yourself as well. It is in some cases, I do the same with many groups, but they don't do it. And they are like, ah, sí, teacher, mañana lo voy a hacer. And it is your self-improvement. It's the same because you don't push yourself to the best limits. In some cases, you don't have to be afraid. You just have to do it. I have a question. Yeah, Blanquita. What means, what means the verb that, that you are using? <laughs> Which push one? In. Pushing. <laughs> Pushing es, es como estarte empujando a hacer las cosas. Pushing okay. es co estar, estar como hostigándote todo el tiempo, así como. <ríe> hágalo, 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 dígame, dígame, dígame. Empujadora. Empu Blanquita, cuando usted está cobrando es la la cliente, usted es very pushing porque le está diciendo, ahora me va a pagar. ¿A qué hora me va a pagar? Eso es el pushing, insistente, estar ahí. Insistente, that's the word, insistente. Estaba a escuchar, va a escuchar todo lo que ustedes estaban hablando, pero no entendía qué era, era pushing. Y qué es pushing. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yo creo que entre, entre empujadora y... <ríe> me quedo con insistente, right? I, I will adopt the insistent. Yeah, because it, it is it is nice. I mean, when, when you challenge yourself and when you start learning, when you start investigating more, when you start giving more of what you can give, it is really nice when you see your advancements because you are doing things differently. And during this time that I am not going to be pushing you, I, I will I will keep pushing you. <laughs> yeah, a menos que me, que me bloqueen de WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah, it's if you look at what they So uh, keep practicing, keep practicing either way. Get a book, read, get articles, find videos online, practice grammar, investigate, uh, get vocabulary and, and do not stop practicing because English as anything in the life decreases without the practice. If you don't practice, you start getting in your comfort zone again. Okay, si dejan de sure. practicar, la vamos a regar. Así que keep practicing. Mr. Lindelson. Hello, good evening. Enjoy your food. Thank you. It's uh, chocolate. I saw it, yeah. <laughs> Lo vimos todos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, I always say that uh, the best way to, to do something is doing it, right? Yep. Mm. And that's it. It is it is the best way. I mean, if you want to learn, go and, and do it, right? I learned to swim in a difficult way, but I did it, right? I, and it was yeah. fun. I mean, the video, I think it was in the group that you sent a video of a person throwing someone in the river. En el grupo mandaron un video de que tiraban a alguien al río porque no podían nadar. And that's yes, English. Yeah. <laughs> Wilber was. That's English. That's English, right? And I always say, right? Si yo no hubiera ayudado a Brian, que era mi amigo, mi vecino, cuando estaba perdido, que no, nadie le entendía, pero yo le entendía, pero me daba pena. Si no lo hubiera hecho, I wouldn't be here. No estaría aquí con usted. Allá estaba el pobre Brian pidiendo ayuda. Nadie hablaba inglés y yo le entendía. Yo también hablaba, pero me daba pena. El pobre Brian estaba muriendo, necesitaba algo urgentemente. Y yo, mamá, Brian necesita tal cosa. Y vos, ¿cómo sabes? Me dijo mi mamá. Eso es lo que necesita, ayúdale. Y me dijo, ¿pero cómo le digo? Decirle vos. 
Y yo, ok. <laughs> and I went to him and I said, Brian, are you okay? Do you need anything extra? And he said like, an English speaking person. Yeah. And I was just 10 years old. Yo solo tenía 10 años. Y el pobre bicho estaba muriendo. Él no hablaba español para nada. Entonces, I said like, well, hey, it was easy. It was nice. And then I started talking with him all the time, all the time. Después atosigue al pobre Brian, como ustedes no se imaginan, and learning English with him, right? And I was behind him like, Brian, Brian, how do you say this? Brian, how do you say that? Brian, how do you say this? And every month when I, when Brian used to travel back to El Salvador, I was like waiting for him, like, yeah, I am going to practice. And he was nice. And I mean, like, it's a matter of jumping, jump into the river. And if not, look at the American people talking Spanish. Have you seen the Americans speaking Spanish? ¿Ya han visto los americanos practicar español? And, yes, teacher. Yes. I have seen. Yeah. And they don't care if it sounds good or bad, if they make mistakes or not. They talk. And they and say like, uh -huh. And sometimes they hear, they hear like so funny. Yeah, they say ah las papusas. I yeah I had a I have a cousin that when when they go to El Salvador they they talk they try to talk in Spanish and my cousin say en vez de decir de sí she say de sí <laughs> de sí y, y nosotros le hacíamos burla porque hablaba bien chistoso pero o sea no por eso ella perdía el miedo verdad yeah. And, and, and I always say this, yeah. Yo les digo mucho esto a los chicos del de lugar donde yo trabajo. Yo les digo, si nosotros somos el grupo que estamos aprendiendo y yo misma me burlo del otro que está aprendiendo, yo misma le meto el pie. So, please help each other instead of, ah, mira lo que dijo, ah, pamado, ah, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto, ah, tan duro que sos, que no sé qué, mira qué chistoso se tiene. No, help each other, help each other, practice. If you find something useful, send it on the group. Miren, bichos, hay este video que yo, yo estoy ocupando para practicar. He encontrado esta página, he encontrado este sitio web, he encontrado esta aplicación. Share it with your friends. Compartanla con el grupo, compartanla con sus compañeros. It is going to be very helpful. Okay. I am very proud of your advancements, of many of the things that you have done. Many of you knew a lot of English, but you were just too comfy in, in, in there, like, si sí, se, pero me da pena. And now you are very confident at the moment of practicing. So, hello, uh -huh. Mr. Antonio. Welcome. How are you? How are you doing? I am doing excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sorry for the, the time in the class. Okay. Don't worry. I go by the, my words. I'm sorry. I am tired. <laughs> I don't worry. Don't worry. But you are here, and Bye. that's important. My, my my biography is, is sobre Freddie Mercury. It's okay. Hey, hey, that's so nice. That's so cool. You're going to use it. So your biography. <laughs> Why did you stop talking, Rafael? They were listening to you. Who are you going to talk about? The quien no va a hablar ahora? The Freddie Mercury, the vocalist, the Queen. Okay, good. Is is he your favorite singer? Uh, yes, uh, Freddie Mercury, Mel Gibson, uh, it's, 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 for me, it's more, more, more people. <laughs> okay, very good. Pedro Thank Infante. you. Thank you, Pedro Rafael. Infante. Yeah, Pedro Infante is one of my favorites because of my parents, yeah. right? They love it. Pedro Infante is, 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 is more the biography. Okay, good. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, the, in the case of the biography, it's not that you're going to tell me, right, every single thing about the person, right? In 1991, he did it. In 1992, in 1992, February. No, I mean, just important things, important details that you remember about the person, right? It's not that you're going to tell me everything about it, right? Y en el año 2021, no, in February, in, in January, in February, in March. No, no, no. It is just important facts, important details. And if you don't have information about a famous person, you can talk about yourself. That's information that you cannot find in Google. 
depending, right? I think you can find one about yourself in Google a lot. Have you ever looked your, look for yourself in Google, people? ¿Ya se han buscado en Google alguna vez? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> it's curious. Ever, teacher. What happened with that? <laughs> and no, well, in my case, if you put my name on Google, you get uh, my Facebook, LinkedIn, you get, uh, in some cases, tweets, I mean, uh, or, or papers where you have been mentioned. Or, or some pictures. Yeah, also some pictures. So you have to be careful there. Have to be careful with it. And everybody in Google, right? <laughs> Finding yourself. Well, so my dear class, we are going to go over a little bit on <clears throat> the review. I think everybody has done uh, everybody has done their all the things in the platform. So I have no doubt about it. But uh, I need to make sure as well, right? So I always have to make sure about all these things that all of them are done and for sure that they are completed. We're going to start today by calling the attendance, right? I am going to call the attendance and whenever you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? We're going to start with that and then I am going to go over the platform to check that you have already finished. And in 10 minutes, we are going to start the survey, okay? So, eh, yo creo que ya todos la tienen cargada por ahí. Si no, tenganla en la mano, porque la vamos a iniciar en unos 10 minutitos. Para que no me digan, no le he abierto, teacher, no sé dónde está, no tengo el correo. Please, find it. <laughs> me han contado que así sucede. So, listen and answer with your name. Aleida Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Sofia. Oh, Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Hey, Carlitos. ¿Cómo se siente? Mm, más o menos. <laughs> más o menos. Okay, well, that's good. It's, it's good to... It's good to listen to you. I know, mm -hmm. I imagine. Cesar Amaya. Cesar is come. Thank you. Uh, Ellen Nielsen. Present teacher. Eric Jose. Present <clears throat> teacher. Hernan Antonio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yes. Horacio Jose. Jose Luis. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Francisco. Present teacher, present teacher. Sorry. Thank you, Horacio, don't worry. Juan Francisco. Mr. Juan Francisco. No, I don't have you here right now. Uh, let me see. Uh, Carla Guadalupe. Present teacher. Nelson Alberto. I'm here. Paola is driving, but she's here. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present Raúl Ernesto. Raulito. Y, y Raulito. Dios guarde. ¿Dónde anda? Ok. Eh, Wilber. Present. Thank you. Jasmine. Present teacher. En Magdiel. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Magdiel, you are going to be my my last one-on-one -on -one today. Yes, okay, teacher. Okay, very good. So uh, we are going to go over a little bit of the things that we have done in the platform. I know that many of you have already finished everything and uh, we're going to do a couple of things with that. So uh, we were talking about uh, the last sections that we should have finished by now. And uh, we have here all the exercises that we did for unit number three, for section number three, and the exercises from section number four that I hope that you all have completed, okay? ¿Hay alguno de ustedes que todavía les falte algún ejercicio por terminar, chicos? Ajá. Uh -huh. No? 
¿no? Estamos completos todos. Al menos en la última vista que le dimos, we were all complete. So, here, uh, the exercises were not okay. that complicated. And we were going to uh, complete them with uh, past tense uh, mostly, right? So, in this one was about uh, past tense questions. Do you remember what was this question like? ¿De qué se trataba esta pregunta? What did you do yesterday? What, what, did, you, you, what did you do yesterday, yes. right? What did you do yesterday? Very good. What about the second one? What time? Uh -huh. What about? What time did she arrive? At work. What time did she arrive at work, right? Number three. What was number three? Did he, did he come to the meeting come yesterday? Did he, did he come to the meeting yesterday? Good. Did he come to the meeting yesterday? What about number four? Did, did, she, did she see it? Did she see it? Very good. And the last one? When were you born? When were you born, right? When were you born? In this case, we were looking for a day, right? You were looking for a specific day and you had all the answers here, right? When were you born? With the question mark. Did she see it? With the question mark. Did he come to the meeting yesterday? What time did she arrive at work and what did you do yesterday, right? That was this exercise. In this one, we had multiple choice and we did exactly this exercise in class as well. And uh, here we say like the training was in Central America. It was in Guatemala, so it was true or false? True. It was true, right? Because it was in Guatemala. Mary was helpful in the training. Mary was helpful in the training. Was Mary the helpful one or the presenter? Uh -huh. True. Is it true that Mary was helpful in the training? False. False. Who was helpful? The presenter. The presenter, right? The presenter was the helpful one. The training was good. The training was good. True or false? True. true. It was true, true, right? It's true, right? Number four, the training was about work-related equipment. It was true. The training was about work-related equipment? Yes, because it's all the equipment that she uses for work. The trainer was prepared and used technology. It is true, teacher. It is true, he was because using what type of technology? He used, he used a computer. He used a computer, example. right? He used a computer for uh, the example. It was true, right? All these uh, situations, right? We did this one in class as well. What about the next one? In this one, we have to complete it with was or were, depending on the situation in the subject. What subject do you use with I people? I were, was. I am, or I was. Very good, because you have last summer, that is past tense. My dog. Was. Was. My dog was black, white and black. No, not black and white. Where? Where was your brother from? Where was your brother from? Very good. Or old car was red. Was red. Very good. Singular form, right? It's a noun, singular. You and I, good friends, five years ago. <laughs> Were you and I, good friends, five years ago? Were you and I good friends five years ago? Yes, and that's the way it was, right? That's the way it was, just to be careful with the use of was and were. And in this section as well, 
we have to create sentences with uh, the past tense using the subjects. What subject do you need to complete the first one? It says they intelligent. You need was or were? Were they intelligent? Were, were they intelligent? Yes, they were. They were such fantastic students. It warm. Was it warm? Was it warm? Was it warm? Jim clever. Was Jim clever? Was Jim clever. Clever. What is the meaning of clever? Smart. Smart, astuto, listo, right? He ambitious. Was. Was, he, was ambitious? he ambitious? Was he ambitious? Do you consider yourself ambitious, people? Yeah. Yes, I am. In some uh, cases. In some cases. <laughs> I am. I am very ambitious. What about... In the, in the good way. <laughs> yeah, in the good time. Yeah, in the good things, right? When I, when I want something better, I fight for it. We late. Were we late? Were we late, right? Mm -hmm. That's the form of this uh, exercise, right? Remember, capital letter, question mark at the end. So were they intelligent? Was it warm? Was Jim clever? Was he ambitious? And were we late, right? So right now, we are going to uh, go over the last one, right? We're going to go over the last one here that was about yes or no questions, right? It says here, did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes or no? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. did. Did it rain last night? <laughs> no, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't, right? Did you yeah. go on a trip last weekend? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, right? Did they attend university together? No, they didn't. No, they didn't, no, they didn't right? Did the store give you a discount? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did, right? Very good job. So, my dear students, this was exactly what we needed to do with a uh, the exercises in section four. And for sure, after this, in uh, the final part, in the final uh, section, we just have the uh, exams, right? And these exams for sure should be completed by now and um, they should be done already, okay? So right now we are going to work a little bit on uh, the survey, okay? So I need you, we're going to finish with this ones later, right now, don't worry. And we're going to work on the sub, on the subway, okay? Please, I need you to have it ready, right? We're going to work on this and I am going to move into my presentation, right? Okay, we're going to work on this. And I just, I need to make clear that all of you, all of you are there and you are connected with me. Okay, so uh, let me just share my audio as well. And I am going to share a small video, right? First, I think you have seen it before. We are going to watch it and then we are going to go over the survey together, okay? Let me know if you can listen to it. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Can you listen to the video? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so we're going to watch it eh, and then we're going to do the survey, okay? Sigamos todo el protocolo. Let's do it, okay? Tengan la abierta, porfa, porque al finalizar el video, eh, yo les voy a ir dando los pasos, nos vamos a ir guiando y la vamos a terminar, okay? So right now let's watch the video and then we do the survey. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar 
y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente, colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6, vamos a desplazar la flechita. Y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8, vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok, good. I think the information is pretty clear. So right now... What we are going to do is that we are going to do the survey together, okay? Creo que ya tienen 
todos eh, la información abierta que se les envió su correo y si no pues eh, porfa abran ese correo porque lo van a ir utilizando para ir llenando eh, la encuesta ok entonces vamos a empezar y aquí en el donde dice ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones este va a ser proporcionado por mí en, eh, en este momento se los voy a enviar al chat para que lo puedan copiar y pegar ok Ok, entonces esta es la orden de inicio. Todos la tienen en el chat. Se las voy a enviar para que la puedan copiar y pegar. Ok. Es 28637-7810-0048 pleca 2022. Está en el chat para que solo le puedan dar copiar y pegar. Y no hay ningún problema en esa parte. Cuando ya lo hayan hecho, por favor me confirman. Y vamos a pasar al siguiente punto. Y me pueden decir, listo, teacher. Teacher. Sí. I have a problem, teacher. Yep. Eh, cuando me enviaron la información, me la enviaron al WhatsApp, pero no me la enviaron completa. Ok, este, bueno, la información, creo que la otra información que, que podemos ir llenando es, es, este, es de manera personal, me imagino que usted no tiene mucho problema con el lugar de trabajo que es quizás el más importante los otros datos yo se los voy a ir brindando si quiere lo puede ir llenando de esa manera pero tiene el link de la encuesta la tiene abierta Sí. Vale. entonces si quiere la vamos llenando y yo le puedo ir asistiendo con los puntos que le hagan falta porque igual yo tengo su información va a estar bien, gracias tengo las de todo <ríe> ok <What>? eh... <ríe> <risa> tengan cuidado, tengan cuidado. Let's continue, please. Ok, eh, tenemos el punto este listo. Sí. Entonces, nombre completo según cómo aparece, obviamente, en, en la información que se les ha enviado. Todos tienen que tener su nombre completo ahí eh, en el correo. Por favor, llenen esa parte con su nombre completo. Según Dui, obviamente completo, ¿verdad? nombres y apellidos el correo electrónico que se le fue proporcionado, obviamente el correo donde le llega la información sí, ¿Sí? una pregunta dígame el, el, el nombre completo perdón César no le alcancé a comprender bien porque se le cortó la conexión ah bueno que en el correo dice que deben de poner los nombres que, que le aparecen a uno. Le enviaron ahí el nombre a uno en un correo. Ajá, el, el mismo que le enviaron no, así. Usted, usted, bueno, cópielo y si le falta alguna parte también se la puede agregar, no hay problema. Ah, bueno. Pero ahí en el correo les mandaron bien detallado solo de copiar y pegar. Entonces no hay, no hay como ningún problema en eso. I did it. <ríe> ya, yeah, el correo electrónico igual, el mismo que está en el correo que les enviaron. Okay. El correo electrónico, ubiquémoslo. El número celular proporcionado eh, para comunicación con ellos. A veces ustedes pueden tener dos, pero eh, pusieron uno en sus solicitudes. Entonces el número celular, también el que aparece en su correo electrónico, le damos copiar y pegar. Okay. Esa información ustedes la poseen, así que le podemos dar de una vez, copiar y pegar en su número de celular. Ya completamos esa parte, me avisan. Sexo masculino femenino, no hay problema en ese. Departamento de residencia, creo que igual esa información se la brindaron en su correo eh, electrónico, si no, pues obviamente usted pone su departamento de residencia, escoja entre los que están en la lista plegable y pues ahí lo podemos completar su departamento de residencia donde dónde está residiendo en este momento y el municipio de residencia o sea y si el departamento de residencia es San Salvador, municipio de San Salvador no hay problema pero si por ejemplo está en un municipio diferente y es la información que usted ha brindado pongamos por favor esta parte me avisan si ya completamos estos dos puntos y podemos seguir adelante Listo, teacher, no, teacher. Done. Done, very good. Done, teacher. Done, done. Ok, 
Entonces, seguimos adelante. Todos estamos completándolo. Todos estamos en el mismo track, chicos. Paola, Horacio, Blanquita. Eric. Ya es teacher. Raúl. Ya es teacher. Ok. Empresa donde trabaja, igual vamos a tomarlo justo como se le ha enviado a su correo electrónico. Ok. Tomémoslo justo, justo el nombre, como nos aparece en nuestro correo electrónico. El nombre y la razón social de su empresa. Ok. Ok. Si alguien necesita ayuda, me pueden enviar este, eh, un mensaje directo y yo con mucho gusto le envío cómo aparece su información y su razón social. Nombre del proveedor con quien se capacitó. Pues, obviamente, en este caso, vamos a buscar eh, exactamente donde dice Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Este es el que tenemos que ubicar ahí. No vamos a poner ningún otro. Nombre del curso. El nombre del curso era eh, Inglés Principiante Módulo 6. Justo así como se les ha enviado el correo, lo vamos a poner aquí, inglés principiante módulo 6. Okay. Creo que esto no es necesario. Inglés principiante módulo 6, usted lo puede copiar y pegar, igual lo voy a poner en el chat para que solo lo pueda copiar y pegar. Eh, las comillas creo que no son necesarias, pero eh, ahí lo puede copiar. Siguiente, esto es de manera personal. Valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? ¿Qué opina del contenido y la estructura del curso? ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Ahí usted puede poner insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno, excelente o súper perfecto. Usted decide. Okay. Esa es una valoración personal acerca del curso. ¿Me confirman, por favor, cuando hayamos terminado ese punto? Sí, teacher, no teacher, por favor. Don't teacher. Don't, Don't teacher. teacher. Excelente. Eh, el siguiente punto, ¿cuál fue la fecha de inicio del curso? Y esa es la que vamos a seleccionar en el calendario. Vamos a seleccionar la fecha de inicio, que fue la que tenemos. Aquí, fecha de inicio del curso, vamos a seleccionar el 31 de octubre. Nos vamos a octubre, empezamos el día 31 de octubre del 2022. Y en la fecha de finalización, vamos a poner el día de hoy, 28 de noviembre de 2022. ¿Okay? Ahí lo podemos ubicar en calendario. Para que eh, usted lo pueda tener. ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción al completar el curso? ¿Satisfecho o insatisfecho? Ustedes lo escogen. Nos aseguramos que todos vayamos en el track. Y mencione otros cursos que sean de su interés. Ustedes pueden poner ahí liderazgo, contaduría, matemáticas, ventas, etc. Y si usted quiere agregar un comentario, también es personal y bienvenido. Así que chicos, al terminar con el comentario... Ustedes le pueden dar enviar y por favor a la siguiente página donde dice gracias por completar esta encuesta. Sáquenle una captura, por favor, y me la envían al chat. Okay. Rafael, dígame. Eh, el punto 15 y el 16 no son necesarios. No, esos son opcionales. Ok, gracias. Ajá. O si no, solo le pone una rayita o ninguno o nada. No comentarios, pues, los que ustedes gusten poner, si es necesario, si ustedes quieren poner algo más, lo pueden hacer. Eso es opcional. Y eh, de ahí le dan enviar, y en la página donde sale la confirmación, pues esa es la que necesito que me envíen al chat de WhatsApp. Please. Gracias a los que ya me la están enviando. Teacher. Yes. I need help yep. about one item. 
Yeah, tell me. Uh, ¿Qué voy a poner <laughs> en el uno? En el uno. Aquí lo envié en el chat. Yo se los envié oh, en el okay, chat. Okay, 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 okay. Donde está el... el... Ahí está. Es el primerito que les reenvié. Déjenme, se lo vuelvo a copiar. El número de inicio de curso es este. Se lo voy a enviar de nuevo ahora, si para que se lo pueda tener. Es ese último que le envié. 28637-7810-0048, pleca 2022. Cópielo y péguelo tal cual está en el chat. Para que no le cree dificultades. ¿Ok? Thank no. you. Thank you very much. Blanca Alejandra, Wilber, José Luis, Andrea Sofía, Nelson, Carla Guadalupe, Rafael Alexander, Aleida de Esmeralda Amaya. Muy bien. Gracias, chicos, por todos los que ya enviaron su captura de pantalla. That's perfect. Hey, really like it. That was quick and nice. Okay, so after this, please. Just send me your screenshot. Okay. Send me your screenshot. I am receiving most of them. Helen Nilsson, Rafael, thank you. Okay, let me just count. How many do I have? Uh, yes? Good evening, sorry. Hi. I, I... I can right now, but I I listen in uh, the 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 video. Uh, what is the the number for the for the first question? The, oh, it's on the chat. I, ah, I okay. just send it. Es lo último que les he enviado al chat. Es veintiocho seis tres siete. No sé si lo pueden si lo puede revisar que esté ahí. También el chat de Zoom. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Thank you. Ah, pues, sorry. Está en el chat de Zoom. Igual se los puedo poner en el de WhatsApp. No hay problema. Ya lo encontró en el chat de, de Zoom. Yes. And yes. only copy and no, paste. Only copy and paste. Ok, ok. And Thanks. also the name of the curse. Inglés principiante módulo 6. Copied exactly like that and uh, put it there and also the razón social of your enterprise you might have it igual el correo toda la información que le llegó a su correo con la encuesta eso solo la copia y la pega thank you you're welcome i am here to help you let me see how many do i have i have one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, teacher. eleven, twelve. Yes, I, I already, I, I read it. I read it. Okay, Mira, which, which? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo no tengo esa información en el correo. Lo voy a llenar como. No, no. Just let, let me just help you right now. Okay. 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 Right now, let me just find you, and I will send you that information. Don't worry. Right now, don't worry. You don't have to Suspicious. worry about. <laughs> no, it is. It is. I mean, I am your teacher. I need to know you. I need to know you. Teacher, in, yes? could you help? Could you help me? What is the name exactly of my <laughs> my job? I am going to do it right now. Don't worry. Thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, Magdiel, did you receive it? Let me help Raúl. Okay. <laughs> Esa es la tarea que les va a quedar para esta semana. Conocer el nombre y la razón social de su trabajo. Okay, Raúl. There you go. Ahí se lo envié al chat de Zoom. Thank you. Magdiel, ¿está bien con esto? ¿Necesita algo más? Mm. 
Igual se le envía al chat. Eso. Ok, perfecto. And the name of the course is... Ah, I, I send it here as well. It's Inglés Principiante Módulo 6. Ok. Here it is. I will send it again to you. Ese es el nombre ahí. Ya. Ya. ¿Alguien más que necesite ayuda? Con muchísimo gusto le asisto. Y la pregunta 15, uno puede poner, eh, es escrito, es libre, ¿verdad? Yes, you can say leadership, selling, sales, eh, accounting, mathematics, whatever other things. I have taken many courses within support. I took one on leadership, one on virtual teaching, one on platforms, one on teaching, one on, even on psychology, and also eh, gender rights. I have taken many courses with them. I love to study people. Si usted sabe aquí quiere algún curso, ellos lo tienen de seguro. Okay, so I have 14, I have 14 different uh, pieces of information. I am missing Magdiel, Raul, uh, let me see. Okay. Levante la manita en el, en, el, en el Zoom, please. Si ya me envió su captura. Vamos a ver quién me falta. Y déjela ahí levantada, please. Don. Don, don, don. Levanten su manita si ya me enviaron la captura. Qué bonito se ven todos. Ya les voy a tomar una foto. Ok. Raise your hand. There you go. Good, good, good. Ok. I have 13 students. Rafael Antonio, ¿le puedo colaborar con algo? Oh, ya, yeah, ya la envió. Done. Ok, thank you. Jasmine. Por norteamericano. Y se lucía a quien. Thank you. Paola. Ya mandé todo. Thank you, thank you. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Eh, Paolita, I know you are driving, so be careful. Ok, excellent. Excellent, 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 excellent. So please let me count the, the screenshots. I have 15 screenshots. 15, let me see. And I have And I have 20 people. I'm missing five. Okay. Veamos, veamos. Okay, chicos. Gracias a todos los que ya me enviaron la captura. And to all the ones that are already connected. Thank you very much. You can lower your hand now. Andrea, Sofia, I called the attendance, but you were not here, but now I call you. Okay. Thank you. Present. <laughs> Let present. me see. Juan Francisco. Raul, present now. Present. Excellent. And I was missing Juan Francisco. Is Juancito connected? No, he's the only one that I am missing. Solo me falta Juancito. Ok, todos los demás por fácil ya me enviaron la captura. Les agradezco un montón. Si no, pues la espero. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ok. Let me see. I have Blanquita, Wilber, José Luis, Andrea, Nelson, Carlos Guadalupe, Rafael Alexander, Aleida, César, Carlos Eduardo, Eric José, Rafael Antonio, Ellen Nielsen, Hernán, en Raúl. Esas son las que tengo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jasmine, todavía me falta la suya. 
Hola, Jasmine. Ok. Bueno. Eh, Sigo en espera, por favor. Thank you. Hola. Recibe mío. Sí, sí, sí. Let me see. A ver, vamos a ver. Nelson, Andrea, José Luis, Wilber, Blanca. No, oración no me sale. Espérenme. Vamos a ver más abajo. Let me see. Sí, no me lo he enviado todavía. Y no lo tengo. Ok. Well, Jasmine. Hello. It's me, Jasmine. Thank you, Horacio. Now, yes. <laughs> Now, yes. I got it. I got it. Good. Hallelujah. Very good. Very good. Thank you very, very much. Okay. So that is that is one of the parts of the protocol of the last class, right? To finish this survey and for me to know that all of you are on track, that all of you um, completed everything. Now we are going to go to, to the second part of this um, checking on things, right? Today in the morning, I got one from uh, Raul. No, it was not from Raul, it was from Rafael, who had already completed the, um, the platform, right? Who had already complete, completed every single thing on the platform. Did you see the picture that he sent on the chat, people? ¿Vieron la imagen que nos envió Rafael de la plataforma? Yes, no? Yes. De bloqueé, no, de bloqueé en el grupo, hombre. <laughs> okay, so he sent this image, right? He sent this image on the chat, right? That it says completed, right? <clears throat> I resend it right now. I resend it right now. And that's what I need you to do, right? We are going to finish working a little bit on here. Right now that we finish with all the survey and everything, we're going to finish the exercises. And if you haven't finished, I need you to go with me because you are going to send me exactly the same picture that uh, Rafael Alexander sent when he proved that he had already completed his platform with 100%, okay? So uh, we're going to finish with this one, right? This is an exercise that we did before in class, <clears throat> we were talking about the different um, activities that a person has to do in the different uh, jobs. Here we were talking, I remember, about uh, the person who checks the talent review and performance management of processes. Which person is this one, people? A manager, consultant, or a human resources generalist? Uh, talent manager consultant. Talent manager consultant, right? Who develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relationships, disciplinary actions, and operations? Who does this? The benefits specialist or the human resources generalist? Human resources. Human resources, human resources right? Who works in a company? Okay, works in a company's human resources or personal department? The secretary, right? She's the one who has this job. Who is responsible? Yes? Compensation specialist. Okay, in this one, wait, 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 wait. Compensation specialist, in this one, works in a company's human resource or personal department. Is this the secretary or the compensation specialist? Yeah. In this one, I um, think it's immediate administrative assistance. Okay, mm. yeah. In this case, no. is we have two options only. Oh. It's the secretary. What about no, who is specialist. this Number one? Number three. Number three. Number four. Who is in? Who is responsible 
for assisting with the administration of all benefits. Benefit the specialist. A benefit, a benefit the specialist, right? Who handles, he, he does all the benefits, right? Who handles administrative requires, uh, requests and queries from senior managers? Administrative assistant. The administrative assistant, right? There you go. Yes. Yes, the administrative assistant. This is the one that you have here. The second exam, in this one, you have five exams. In the second exams, eh, this one is the one that we just did in the previous part, right? Este es el mismo ejercicio que hicieron en la parte cuatro of the questions. So you just have to add the questions back, right? We just did it, right? Lo acabamos de hacer. And it says, uh, were they intelligent? Preguntas abiertas de was and were. Was it warm, right? Was Jim clever? Was he ambitious? Were we late? And that's it, right? The, the same questions that you did in the previous one. Esas son las mismas preguntas que hicimos en el ejercicio 4. In this one, esa fue la última, eh, el último ejercicio del ejercicio 4. And we just answered this one. Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. Did it rain last night? Did you go on a trip? Did they attend the university together? Uh, did the store give you a discount? Yes, it did, right? And then you just submit. The next one, you have, a, we just did it as well. Hicimos el mismo ejercicio en la unidad cuatro. I was in New York, my dog was. Where was your brother from? Where were you yesterday? And she wasn't a bad student in high school, right? And you just submit. And in the final exam, in the final thing that you had in the, oh, I think this was the last one. Yes. So in this one, you don't have any option to go next because it's the last exercise. So. What I am going to ask you, please, is uh, to go in the part of progress, right? And for sure, el mío no está completo por los que no terminé de, de llenar porque teníamos que avanzar. But I need you to have it ready on 100%, okay? I need you to have it ready here on 100%, okay? Todas sus barritas, como ya revisamos toda la plataforma, tendrían que estar en 100%. Ok. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Así que esta va a ser la segunda captura que vamos a enviar. Primero la de la encuesta. Segundo, la de la plataforma. Ok. So I need you please to help me with that. And that will be it about it, right? Thank you, Hernan, tell me. Eh, sí, teacher, tengo una consulta. Dígame. Eh, por haber finalizado este, lo que es eh, estos módulos, que eh, es el básico, nos van, a, nos van a dar algún diploma de participación o... Yes. No, porque, bueno, por mi parte, en el trabajo me lo están exigiendo, ¿verdad? Sí. El diploma. Entonces, no sé si esto lo mandan por, por, o sea, lo mandan a la empresa o uno tiene que hacer la gestión para irlo a traer a algún lugar. No, eh, este se lo envían a ustedes. Se lo envían a ustedes por correo y también creo que lo envían a la, a la empresa. Para que nosotros lo imprimamos, ¿o ¿cómo es la? Sí, you have, to, you have to print it. Ya va firmado y todo. Bueno, antes salía aquí en la parte de progreso, arriba de las barras salía generar certificado, pero creo que ahora ya no tienen esta opción ustedes porque a ninguno le sale, ¿verdad? Mm, Yo tengo no. una duda con respecto a eso porque a mí Ajá. me parece que soy como participante, algo así, pero que mi estatus no... no, no no me hace acreedor a un certificado. Ok, entonces, eh, sí, esta parte es porque antes ustedes los podían descargar de un solo. Ok, esta parte, antes sí ustedes podían descargar de un solo el certificado, pero 
pasaba de que la gente solo descargaba el certificado y no atendía el curso. Entonces, ahora, al terminar todo, cuando ustedes terminan su encuesta, cuando ustedes terminan sus clases, cuando ustedes terminan su 100%, cuando ustedes terminan su asistencia, cuando tienen todos los requisitos, ahí se les genera y se les envía. Teacher, ¿pero es por cada módulo o por cada nivel? Digamos, básico, intermedio y avanzado. No, I think it is per module. It is per no module. No ninguno. Pues no, so no you, opción, so you need to you need to talk to them. Tienen no, que, no. que tienen que informarlos. O sea, si de repente ustedes no sí. lo han recibido, hay que ponernos ahí de, de hay que informarlos. Miren, eh, no sé si ha habido alguna pushing, pushing. Yo, yo recuerdo que una vez nos dijeron de bueno a mí una muchacha nos dijo de que era como un proceso bastante lento y bastante tardado pero que en algún momento llegaba pero ajá yo de, ya llevo un año y no, no me han dado nada push push pero aquí en... ah, ok aquí por ejemplo nuestra encargada la que todos los días nos escribe ¿cómo se llama la chica que nos escribe todos los días vamos a ver si se han fijado Claudia Claudia Figueroa ok esa es nuestra, nuestra encargada de grupo Ahí están sus contactos. Ella nos puede apoyar un poco más en este tipo de, de información. No, sí, I will, I will quizás make... solo la, la observación, porque ahorita que uh -huh. lo leo, yo, yo jamás había pedido el, el certificado por lo mismo que dice aquí en la plataforma. No, eh, pero, su inscripción, uh -huh. ruta de asistente, usted está inscrito en el curso como asistente. Este modo de tomar el curso no incluye la obtención de un certificado. Entonces uno piensa que realmente uno no tiene derecho a certificado y por eso no dice nada. No, 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 no. no. It's like, for example, here you say, I am, eh, look at this one, it's like your enrollment is out the track because I am, I am a teacher, right? You are enrolled as an audit track in this course. The audit track does not include a certificate. No, because I am the teacher, right? I am the auditor here. So, but please let uh, ask questions. I mean, push. <laughs> If you learn something about me, it's to push things, <laughs> right? So ask, ask if they, if they are ready or when are they going to be ready because you need it, right? You need it and people in your, in your enterprise are asking for it. So you need to ask and they are going to tell you when you are going to get them or how are they going to send them. Okay, ahí nos pueden dar mejor información de cuándo los vamos a obtener y por qué medio, por correo, por WhatsApp, por el correo de la empresa. So, we need to get informed, right? Informémonos siempre. Yo creo que la mejor manera de informarnos es pues eh, yéndonos directamente a la fuente de información, right? Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. No, no, thanks to you for, for asking. But it was a problem in the past. It was a big problem because people used to generate certificates And they, they didn't even like uh, put a lot of effort on this. So, but it is important that if you are being very committed with everything, uh, you are going to get it as well, okay? So that will be it about it. And for sure, you are going to have your next enrollment of the next course now that we complete everything. So my dear class, so we're going to <clears throat> work a little bit on the biography. We are going to work a little bit on sharing about the biography. That will be your last activity. And if you don't have a specific biography or if you don't have a specific uh, information about uh, the person that you are going to work on, uh, it is uh, good that you can talk about yourself. Right, I am going to give you a short example. I am going to give you a short example about a, a person that you know. I did the biography about myself. <laughs> It's a person that I know the most, right? So this is a little example of how can you create a biography? This is a biography about me, right, for sure. Right. 
And I have my information here. Like she's Natalie, her mother is Carmen, her father is Ernesto. She was born in Santa Ana, El Salvador on September 15, 1984. She studied from kindergarten to high school in Chalchopa and she did her university studies in Santa Ana. She started her teaching life in 2003 and then she worked at Unicais for five years. Later, she worked at an academy and as an interpreter for American visitors. She also worked as a public school teacher and as a teacher for a private program for 10 years. Nowadays, Nati works as a principal in a prestigious academy in San Salvador and as a teacher for English Corporativo with the most amazing students. That's my biography, right? I chose a very famous person, the person that you know the most, right? Hey, I think, I know I didn't have the same clothes that day. Today I have a different shirt. Yo dije la misma ropa de la foto, but no. This is a different one. So this is an example of a biography. If in any case you need to talk about yourself, you need to talk about yourself in any specific situation, just take the most important things about your life, okay? Usted no va a contar cuando se cayó la primera vez, cuando se cayó de la bici, cuando se raspó por primera vez, cuando le dio varicela. You don't have to talk about these specific details, but if someone tells you, tell me about you. Uh -huh. Tell me about you. You don't say like, ah, ese es el momento en el que todos nos vamos en blanco y decimos, ¿y qué digo? Okay, talk about yourself. Where have you started? What have you done? What things have you, have you achieved in your life? So today I ask you to investigate about a famous person because that's something that we know a lot, right? She said like, now that you love Messi or... Cristiano Ronaldo or whatever other person that are very famous now because of what they are doing. So that's why I wanted you to talk about someone. Okay. I am going to give you around one minute or two to each of you to do exactly what we do in the voice notes in real life. Okay. Esa es como la, la, la nota de voz en vivo. <laughs> Who is your favorite famous person? Tell me about him or her. Okay, este es nuestro momento. Es como que me enviaran la nota de voz en vivo, pero ahí lo van a hacer participando en clase. Rafael Antonio, you were going to talk about Freddie Mercury, right? Tell us about him. Yes. <laughs> y resu un re resum, dice. It's okay. Freddie Mercury. Biography. Biography. Is, uh, Frederick Bulsara Vega of, on the East African island of Zanzibar on September 5, 1946. 25 years later in London, under the name of Freddie Mercury. He was Fronting the now legendary legendary rock group named Queen. Uh, the song of Boring and Jer Bulsara. Freddie Spain the bull of this chill 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 home in India, where he attend St. Peter's Mondis School. He began talking the pain, pain lesson of the gay for seven. Uh, no one called for forest where a love on music were take him. Finish. Tell me, what was his most famous song? The one that you liked the most? Uh, uh, the Bulsara family moved to Midland, Mid, Mid in 1964, and from the Freddy Jornet out with um, blues band called We Hate Ray Study Graphic Course at Erling College 
of art, artists while sing, singing for with, with case. A, a follow student introduced Freddie to Roger Taylor and Brian May, father mem members uh, of about Kayak Smai. Smai tried to tomorphosis into Queen. Okay, uh, Rafael, what? listen, listen to me, Rafael. My question was, what is your favorite song from Freddie Mercury? I want to break free. Yes, what me is too. Your, uh, <laughs> what is your favorite song? ¿Cuál es su canción favorita de Freddie Mercury? That was my question. Uh, uh, this is Wolf, but my favorite song is Rexel Bohemia. Okay, Bohemian Rhapsody. <clears throat> Good. Where was he born? Where was he born? Uh, Donde? Where was he born? Donde nació? Yes. Uh, African Island of Zanzibar on September 5, 1946. Okay, good. And when did he die? Uh, 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 on November 4, 20, 24, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, when was he born? September 15. Uh -huh. He was born on September. Ta -da -da. He died on September this and this. Okay. My favorite son is, right? He, uh, I don't know. He is from this and this place, right? Complete answers. Thank you, Rafael. You broke the ice with the first one, right? A clap for Rafael. He was there taking it for the group. Lo agarré ahí en fresco, yeah. What's going on? Right? But it was good. I mean, when you read information, it is important that you analyze, prepare, read aloud a little bit. Okay. Because if you say, like, ah, ya hay la información, ahí la voy a leer en la clase. For the next exam, okay, para los próximos exámenes, en los próximos módulos, get the information, practice it a little bit, read it a little bit, and then you can uh, you can um, speak about it during class okay so it is important that you do it like that okay someone else who wants to do it quien más quiere intentarlo let's see <laughs> no it's okay do it do it do it i am here to help you go ahead go ahead go ahead Vamos, five. Me, teacher. Blanquita, good, very good. Okay, I don't have a biography about famous person, but but I have a biography about my mother. Oh, good. Okay, well, um, I am going to talk about my, my mother. Her name is Maricela Bermudez. She was born on San Salvador. Um, March 10th, 1963, and she was grew, grew, grew up in San Salvador, and now she is a businesswoman. She, ha she has her own business and also she works in a bank since 26 years, years ago. She works as an operator systems in a Banco Cuscatlan, at Banco Cuscatlan. And she is very intelligent and very, very smart. And she now, uh, okay. 
She works in the high school. She works in the high school in the in the high school and now she um, what about okay and now she 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 no she studies in the high she has studied in the high school and and now she works in a in a bank and and only that now okay now now she works in a bank and and she has also her own business and only that okay very good blanquita thank you for sharing information about your mother thank you claps for blanquita thank you let me see let's send some reactions for blanquita thank you very much blanquita i have a couple of questions for you um where was your mother born where where she was born in San Salvador. Good. When? She was born. She was born on no on March tenth, nineteen sixty three. Nineteen sixty three. How yes. old? How old was she when she started working? I don't. I don't know. But it's she kind of told me that she she was around. 20 years old when she was start when she started okay when she start work. okay that takes me to the next uh, part when you say she was grew up tenemos dos verbos tenemos ah, que sí. recordar que tenemos que usar solo she grew up okay yes she was okay. started another thing two verbs only one she started right okay. but for the rest it was good thank you blanca very thank nice you, you survive you survive <clears throat> someone else alguien más only one only two go ahead Ellen Nielsen. take it for the group okay a los demás solo eh, recordarles porfa que no puedo ver sus cámaras solo puedo ver dos cuatro seis siete cámaras thank you very much go on Nielsen. Okay, uh, my oh, the person who I admire. For those who don't know him, let put let put you in context. Uh, that person is Nelson Rodilaga Mandela. Nice. Uh, he was okay. He born. He was born in, uh, on July 18. Uh, 19, 1918, too. And he was a South African uh, anti apartheid activist who served as the first president of South, South Africa from 1994 to 1999. He was the country's first black head of the state and the first elect. Uh, I don't know. Elected or elect, teacher? Elect, terminante. Todos los terminados en T y en D son con extra sílabo. Elected. Elected, okay. Elected in a fully representative democratic election. His government focused on dismantling the legacy of apartheid by fostering racial recon reconciliation. <clears throat> uh, ideology and African nat nationalist and socialist. He served as the president of um, African National Congress, a party from 1991 to 1997. He was in prison for 20, 27 years since 19, 1967 till 1994. And I admire Nelson Mandela for this de de determination to finish which damage too much to South Africa people. And it was the polarization and it was the polarization. And then that black man raised up again a hate absolute system. And that vision may change the people up and mean 
while he was still in jail, everyone felt his energy and power. And any human being that reached that and moved their people to make deepest change is a good example. It's, it's a uh, good follow example. And that was Madiba. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ellen Nilsson. Very nice, very nice description. What I really like is that you made the description, you gave me some general information, and then you told me why you like, uh, why you admire this person. And that was an extra that was very good, right? Because in some cases you say like, ah, yes, this is the information, this, 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 and this, and that's it, right? But in this case, you added that extra, right? So I, I, I really like it. And for sure, um the good good words right election elected reconciliation ideology right and the dates 1991 you still doubt right about the dates but it was good okay. thank you very much okay. ellen Nelson. very You're nice welcome. que no le den miedo decir la fecha <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> thank you very much who's next <laughs> Son malías, ustedes no, de, no dejan momento para <laughs> fregarse entre ustedes. Ya lo conocí, ya lo conocí. Ya lo conocí. Yeah, I can see, I can see. Huh? I, I, I saw both of you. Huh? <laughs> Él me acaba todos los días. Todos los días me acaba. That's love. Aleida, go ahead. <laughs> okay, today I'm going to talk about Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz. She was born in San Miguel, Nepantla, Mexico. On November 12, eh, in 1648, and Juana lived during Mexico's colonial, colonial period. Eh, she, she made a um, good contribution. 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 To early, contribution <laughs> eh, to early Spanish literature. It was very fluent uh, in Latin, uh, in Latin, and also wrote in Nahuatl. Sor Juana was educated herself in her own library. All the all the books was from her uh, um, from her grandfather as a gift. Um, after joining a uh, nonary in 1667, um, Sor Juana began reading poetry and prose, dealing with such topics uh, as love, env environmentalism, feminism, and religion. Uh, he criticized the misogyny and the hypocrisy of men <laughs> um, led to her. I found I found a word very complicated. Uh -huh. uh, condemn, condemnation. Condemnation, yeah. It's condemnation. The... Okay. Condemnation. Condemnation condemnation by the Bishop of Puebla. And in 1964, eh, he was forced to sell her collection of books and focus on charity towards eh, the poor. Uh, to the next year, in, in, on April 17, 1965, she died. Poor Miss yeah. Juana. Okay. okay. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh -huh. the, um, the thing is that I decide to speak about Sor Juana is because I think he she was a religion woman, right? Uh-huh. A religious woman. Uh -huh. A religious woman. But she felt uh, in another way the the love love for uh, God, and she expressed in a different way than the other religious person. 
she was a little bit more rebel than the rest. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> she was fighting further. That was very good. Thank you. So in this case, right, remember, uh, thank you very much. First of all, the reaction for Aleida, that was a very good sharing about Sor Juana. And um, when you say like um, the contribution, right, the pronunciation of contribution, uh, the books, it's plural, so you don't use was, you use uh, where, right? And uh, her fight, for example, began in, in she, the pronunciation of, in this case, began, you say begun, but it's begun because it's the past tense, environmental issues, right? The environmental issues and for sure, the come then, the, the word was, uh, condemnation. Condemnation. Mm -hmm. You can say criticize. You can also say denounce. You can also say uh, fight for. So all oh. all these are synonyms. Oh. Whenever you okay. find a word that it's difficult for you, and this is a tip, siempre que encuentren una palabra que que les cueste que no la entiendan, look for synonyms online. Váyanse a Google y pongan la palabra y pongan synonyms. And then you can find an easier word for you to oh, use. Okay. And then you increase your vocabulary. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aleida. Very nice. Wilbur, go ahead. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I am going to talk about, about uh, Mel Gibson. Ah, nice. Good, good. I like him. Uh, uh, he was born in New York, New York City in 1956. Uh, I like Mel Gibson's uh, films. He did so many films, but uh, there are three mostly films that I like. Uh, they are uh, We Were Born. Uh, no, sorry. We Were, we were Heroes. Uh -huh. The Patriot and Braveheart. Braveheart, it's good. Mm -hmm. uh, but I like I like them because uh, they were in real histories. In fact, I like the movies that have uh, real histories as uh, the, the movies uh, that have uh, the World, World War. I like them. Okay, but they have historic, historical facts. So you like movies that are related to history, real life yeah. things. Okay, yes. good. So uh, Mel Gibson, right? He is still alive. So yes. that's why we, we cannot say like he was born. He, he was doing this because he's still alive, right? But it's a very good thing. And also that you mentioned some of his first movies that it's very good. So thank you very much, Wilbur. Very clean, clear and to the point information. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Reactions for Wilbur, please. Very good job. Nice and clean. Very nice. Someone else? Uh -huh. you, teacher. Go ahead, Raul. <laughs> uh, I select uh, uh, Alan Turing. Uh, Alan Turing, he was, he was born in 1912, an Englishman and often called the father of digital computing and artificial intelligence. He was one of the most prominent online code breaking in World War II and pioneer many early computer techniques and was com convict of homosexuality in 1942 and committed suicide at the age of the 41 in 1944 under the influence of the chemical uh, of the chemical crustacean medication that he was court ordered to take in and 209 the the British government issues a formal apology to Turing. 
in 2009. Nine. Oh, in yeah. two hundred. Uh, in two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. Yeah. So that they waited all this time to apologize. Oh my God, I'm so sad. So yeah. it, it is. It is the first time that I hear in deep about this character. Thank you very much for sharing. Why do you like him, or why did you choose him? Because thanks for for him. Right now we have or or we use a computer he was the 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 father of the computer also they are a a, a movie about him uh, is the name is the game imagination i i think yeah okay so uh, that that's that's really nice it's very interesting i didn't know much yeah. about him it's very interesting the 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 lives of him so for that i select very good very good job thank you thank you raul very nice nice participation so uh, i i really i really like it it sounds really interesting and it invites me to go and read more about him next rafael alexander go ahead uh, a little thing when uh -huh. I I wanna add to the Raúl uh, the logo for Apple is for him. Oh really? Wow. Yes. <laughs> That's another thing that I didn't know. I like when I learn new things. <laughs> okay, Great. I'm going to speak about Nikola Tesla. Ah, yeah, that's good. I yeah, like it's my personal hero. Uh, Nikola Tesla was a groundbreaking genius whose inventions and ideas continue to affect modern life profoundly. Tesla is often called the father of energy because of his discoveries. Uh, Tesla was born to a family of Serbian origin in Croatia in 1856. And Tesla was destined for an inventor's life from an early age, resembling uh, and resembling family clocks and fiddling with farm machinery. He invent, invent the first alternating current motor and developed AC generation and transmission technology. So he was famous and respected. He was never able to translate his copious inventions into long-term financial success. Unlike his early employer and chief rival, Thomas Edison. Uh, he loves the science more than the money. And Tesla died in his room of January 7 in 19 at 19 uh, for, for 43 in New York Hotel. Curious, Mr. Tesla. He has a very interesting life story, and for sure, uh, I really like one phrase that you use. He liked uh, technology and things more than money, right? Yes. And he was so intelligent that he, I mean, he didn't even care about what he could get from that, but what he could do with what he did. So it was nice. You told me that he is your personal hero. Hero. Yeah. Why? Ah, because he created the altern current, eh, la energía alterna. Yes. Eh, si no fuera por la energía alterna, nosotros no tendríamos todas las cosas que tenemos actualmente. Yeah, definitely. But Ajá. that's pretty nice. Thank you, Rafael. Reactions for Rafael. Very nice job. Excellent description of Mr. Tesla. And for sure, all the new things that we have nowadays under his name. 
todo lo que tenemos ahora bajo su nombre. It's pretty awesome. It's really fantastic. So, Andrea Sofía, go ahead. Thank you. Um, but the by biography is the Shakira. Uh, Shakira is a Colombian singer, songwriter, record producer, actress, dancer, businesswoman, UNICEF, uh, goodwill ambassador, and philanthropist. Philanthropist. Yeah, philanthropist. Good. Okay. Her full name is Shakira Isabel Meverak Ripoll, and she was born on February 2, 1977. Okay. Uh, in Barranquilla, Colombia. She speaks several languages, among which are Portuguese, French, Spanish, English, Italian, and Catalan. And her first, al, al, uh, the her first album was titled title, title, title Magia and include song uh, that she composed between the age of 18 and 30 and 30. She her third production, uh, Pies Descalzos, an album that took uh, her to the top of sales and achieved great popular popularity in Latin America and Spain, Spain mm -hmm. and USA. Um, in 20 one, the Colombian released album Servicio de la, de la Bandería, with which she will definitely uh, contra the Anglo-European uh, market. The album was present during uh, 2002 and 2003, all ever to work uh, with the so-called two of the Mangosta. On uh, 2010, uh, Sale el Sol for Shakira, Gus uh, hit, hit our loca. Uh, uh, antes de las seis, and Waka Waka. In April 24, 24 uh, he premiered the La La La, and the song with the with Carlos Brown, no sé cómo se pronuncia esta. Carlinos Brown. Okay, which uh -huh. continue, continue. performed at the Brazil uh, to 2014 Soccer World the Championships. Um, the October 19, the, she released the single and the video clip Monotonia together with Osuna. <laughs> Only. Okay, and she she got divorced. She was <laughs> she was cheated on. <laughs> okay, um, a couple of things for pronunciation. First, it's not fierce, it's first. Uh, 18, 18 years old. Um, let's see, uh, third, the pronunciation, third. Spain, right, uh, released, definitely presented uh, 2010, right? The dates are very important. So do you really like Shakira? Yes. Do you dance her music? Uh, <laughs> yeah, most of, most of it. Okay. So, yeah, I think you are from my generation. So that's, that's why we love Shakira. Thank you, Andrea, for sharing a lot of facts about Shakira. A clap for you. Thank you. And reactions for Andrea Sofia. Very nice. Thank you for all the details that you share. Uh -huh. Any other volunteer? Do it now or keep silent forever. It's your moment to practice and shine. Go ahead. Let me. Go ahead. 
Well, uh, I'm going to talk about Jim Carrey biography. Jim Carrey, nice. Yes, it's Jim Carrey. He was born in 1962 in Ontario, Canada. He is Canadian American citizen. Uh, he is an actor, comedian, and artist. Uh, he's funny and he has charisma. Yeah, charisma. Uh, he acts. Uh, he acted in a lot of uh, comedies, movies, and around three drama movies. And I like when he acted in, for example, Lie Lying, and El Enemy and Me Other Me, The Grinch, Ace Ventura. And the last movie that he did was Sonic 2. After that, he decided to retire because he wants to enjoy for life. And he rests from the stress of being an actor. And I admire Jim Carrey because I enjoyed his movie when I was a child. And I can watch the movie and it don't bore me. Yeah, it doesn't make you feel bored, definitely. I think he's a very charismatic person. He has a lot of charisma, he has, has a lot of personality, and he's a very good actor, right? Very nice. Thank you, Carlos Eduardo, for sharing. Yes this about Jim Carrey. Nice pronunciation, nice structure, and good sentences. Thank you. Very good job. Excellent. Someone else? Alguien más? No lo puede traer de la oreja. If you want to practice, you will do it. Me teacher. Go ahead, Jose Luis. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to talk about my grandmother. Nice. Because she's so important that for the people. Fantastic. Good. Go ahead. Okay. Her name is Regina. She was born in January 17, 1946. She was living in Usulután for a long time, but she moved she moved to San Salvador during the Civil War in the 80s. She just started third grade, but she is very smart. She worked really hard in everything she could to help her family, she's a big example of life. She is very lovely, but sometimes she is very rude. And I learned a lot of her. I learned a lot of her. She is always pushed me to achieve my goals. That's why she is my idol. Yay, nice. She is your hero, right? She is your hero. Good. So that's important, right? You see? Famous people in our lives, they are not always actors or actresses. I think your grandmother has marked your life because all the things that he, she has done for you to achieve your goals. So it is really nice. I really like when you include people that you admire and they are members of your family. How old is your grandmother, Jose Luis? She is 73 years old. Okay. And she has been with you through your whole life. Yes. Okay, so I, I really... I live with my parents. Oh, okay, nice. So, you see, now we all admire her as well. And in many of the cases, you said something interesting. She studied only third grade, but she's very intelligent. In some cases, titles do not make people uh, successful, but intelligence and determination does. Congratulations. Thank you, Jose Luis. Nice reactions for Jose Luis and for the grandmother. Thank you very much. Who's next, my dear students? I have a space for three more. Go ahead, go ahead. Mr. Nelson, would you like to give a try? Okay, I tried. Yeah, I push you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I'm going to talk about um, Cristiano Ronaldo. Good. He is my favorite and uh, famous person. Um, currently, currently he plays with Portugal in the World's World Cup. Good. Yes. I like it because I like his style and his personality. And and others. Uh, he was born in Portugal in 1985. He has five children. Wow. He is the top. Uh, <laughs> he is the top scorer uh, for his country. 
and he has other records, uh, personals. Personal records, uh -huh. uh, He has other personal records. He played in Real Madrid and he did a lot of, a lot of goals. No, goals, so uh -huh. yeah, goals. Yes, okay. Uh, and sometimes he is a case. <laughs> but with, with his attitude, he continued uh, through the troubles and it's nice because uh, I learned about this. Uh, I, I choose. I chose. I chose him. I chose him because his career is about to end, and he has been a good player for me. Okay, so he has always been a good player, right? He is a case. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Very nice. Very nice uh, information, the one that you shared. If I had to comment about something, is that we have to avoid these expressions that we do between sentences. Eso te va a ayudar un montón, Nelson, a mejorar un montón tu okay. expresión en el momento de inglés. Que vos eh, ocupas mucho el eh, um, eh, mm, is, mm, mm, mm. And that makes me feel that you are not sure about what you are telling me. And if you avoid those uh, fillers uh, when speaking, you are going to sound a lot more native-like, okay? But that was good. Okay, thank you. Yeah, don't doubt, don't hesitate. Lo mismo que le decía a, a Linson. No dude, no le tenga miedo. Just go straight for the sentences. And it is going to sound a lot better. Te va a ayudar un montón. Don't doubt. Gracias. Don't doubt. Okay, don't doubt about it. Someone else? If you don't jump, I will throw you in the swimming pool. Si no brincan, yo lo voy a aventar a la piscina. Go ahead. I believe. <laughs> yes, I will. Mr. Hernan, thank you very much. Teaching you how to swim. Go ahead. Okay. Pues yo tenía una información similar de Nicole Tesla que compartió el compañero. It's okay. Go ahead. Yo creo que todos los que de cierta manera eh, tenemos conocimientos eléctricos, pues lo tenemos a ver como, como un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Good. Así que igual voy a compartir eh, un poco más de información de él. Ok. Uh, ok. Um, short uh, biographer of Nicole Tesla. Nicole Tesla is one uh, of the great inventory in history. He was born in present day Croatia in 1856 and did work in New York in the United States in 1943. Nicole was an excellent student who memorized books and solving mathematical problems with A's and he studies electrical engineering at the Graf Polytechnic Institute in, Aust in Austria. In 18, 1882, in discovery in the tape of current of flow of electricity and collects alternative current. It was different from the ones used at that time which were continuous scoring, direct scoring could not change direction. Tesla is cool, Tesla volt, uh, volt uh, his fear, AC, uh, AC motor in 1883. Nicole Tesla uh, provide the electricity pole be sent uh, Without wires. In 19, no, 1900 fines and the try to create a wireless communication tower. This and many other great, uh, other great ideas did not come to reaching to, to last of financial support. He invented the Tesla coil, a watch 
it was used for many years in radio, television, and other electric equipment, and X-ray and machine, radio frequency transmission, remote control, expert fluid uh, for automobile engine, almost all resident and um, almost all residential equipment, such so as household appliances, is powered by alternate current. And finish. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you to all your household surprise. Our thanks to Mr. Nicola because we have everything working thanks to him. So as I told uh, uh, Rafael Antonio, I really like that now, Hernan, you are producing a little bit more. You are not that shy like at the beginning. Ya no está como con aquella penita de los primeros días de que más o menos si hablo, no hablo, me apena. I, I really like the confidence that you have gotten. Okay. When, when we get a paragraph like this, try to read it, practice, analyze and if you have a word that you don't know how to pronounce let's investigate eh, youtube tiene esa ventaja hay muchos videos por ejemplo si hay una palabra que no sabemos cómo se pronuncia la copiamos la pegamos y le ponemos ahí pronunciation a la par por ejemplo okay. equipment right equipment. equipment if not you can go to google translator but don't translate the word you can put it there and then you look for pronunciation how do you pronounce and you write the word. Eso lo pueden poner en Google cuando ustedes quieren escuchar la pronunciación de una palabra. How do you pronounce? Y escriben ahí, equipment. Y les va a dar una paginita donde, donde se sale una, hasta una boquita, sale. Y ah, usted, correcto. Y, ajá, y usted le da clic y puede ver hasta la pronunciación de cómo poner la lengua, cómo poner la boca. How to pronounce Teacher. it. So that is good. Yeah, Mr. Wilber? Sí, eh, con eso. I do that, but... Uh -huh. eh, for example, uh, when I search uh, your work all, all the day, so I I heard to when people say all day or, or todo el día. The whole day, uh-huh. Uh, the, the whole day. But uh, in my case, it happens that uh, I search uh, the meeting because I see the, I search it uh, under the context. Yes. But in this example, uh, the words mean in the same test, in the same uh, context, the same. Yes, it's depending so, on how, on how uh -huh. you use it. You say, so, uh, uh -huh. you say the whole cake, the whole morning, the whole day, the whole group, right? And it means uh, <clears throat> todo, un todo. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it confused to me because uh, I search uh, in, in the context, but... It, it means the same. It, it indeed means the same. So I am going to leave you here on the chat another very good dictionary that you can use that it's called a word reference. You can use it there. You can look for the meaning, the context, the pronunciation and everything. Well, my dear class, thank you for the ones who jump in the swimming pool of practice. Gracias a todos los que se lanzaron a la, a la piscina del aprendizaje. Y la práctica. If you didn't do it because of one or other reason, you can send the audio. Send me the audio, the one minute audio on the chat. The ones who didn't do it because uh, you were thinking and overthinking about it. But in general, my dear class, I really appreciate all the effort that you did on this module, all the things that you did, all the changes that you had, right? I have observed different changes in every single person here in the group. So continue improving, continue practicing, and believe me that it has been a great pleasure to work with you, right? I always say that good teachers are because of great students exactly like you. So please keep on practicing. Don't block me on WhatsApp, okay? <laughs> right now uh, you can you can add my number if you have any question if i can help you with something uh, related with language related with english related with life whatever thing uh, let me know so um, i am at your service and it will be more than a pleasure for me to help you and assist you in whatever thing you need i really appreciate your time your dedication and effort and i hope to see you here 
in the next module. Okay, my dear students, I really appreciate Thank you so much, everything. Thanks to you. Teacher for all. Thank you, teacher Nati. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time and everything. Gracias por todo, por los chistes, por todo. Síganme mandando stickers, si me gustan. <laughs> Síganme en mandando en videos, en messages, right? You, you got uh, more than a teacher. You got a new friend here. So uh, whatever thing you need, do not hesitate. If I can help you, for sure, I am going to do it. Not about money, because that's a difficult <laughs> issue. <laughs> but with whatever thing that I can help you, I will be more than glad to do it. Thank you, Raul, for your nice message. Ah, you are the best. You are greatest students. I really enjoyed every day. Miren que cada día no fue como clase ni trabajo, sino que fue como un, un disfrutar de veras, de aprender juntos, de compartir y pues de estar con ustedes, de acompañarles en este proceso. Okay, thank you very, very much for everything. I really appreciate your time. Please continue working. I will keep you pushing you in these few days that I am missing there. Okay. Teacher, en yes. serio que no gusta, creo que a varios, ¿verdad? Voy a hablar, pero por mí creo que no gustaría a varios acá en el grupo que en el próximo nivel usted siguiese siendo nuestra teacher, que nos siguiera presionando <laughs> para okay. seguir siendo mejores, pero pues yeah. eso esperamos, a ver qué tal. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, will, I will do, I will hope for the same. I will say like, if you can give me the same group, I will be more than glad to do it. <laughs> yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Carlos, Raul, Hernán, Rafael, Mr. José Luis, Alexander, Ene Nilsson, Paola, Eric, Aleida, Magdiel, Andrea, Blanquita, Cesar, Jasmine, Juan Francisco, que nunca me contestó en el chat. <laughs> Thank you, Horacio. Enjoy your trip, Horacio, by the way. Wilber, Carlita, everybody, to all the ones, you did a very nice change in my perspective of a student. And because we are not to continue during Christmas today, I wish you a Merry a Christmas. A Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. It was a great pleasure for me to have you as a student as well. I really love you a lot. I appreciate your time, your effort, your learning. And don't block me, please. <laughs> I will keep pushing you no, and sending sure. you messages. Have a great okay. night, have my dear students. Night. Thank you Bye. for the screenshot. Have a good Bye. night. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Ajá, ahí por el Salvador del Mundo. Bye. 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 Thank you. Magdiel, I will stay with you for a couple of minutes, like three or four, but a, a couple of minutes in the end. Hey, teacher. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, Mr. Magdiel, thank you. Sorry, they, they took all your time. They got very excited at the end. <laughs> it is your moment. Thank you, Magdiel. Thank you very much for staying with me. You know, these last minutes of, of the one on one are for me to know you a little bit more, for me to, uh, to know how was your development during the class? What do you think about the program, the classes, your personal development? How did you feel in classes? So uh, it is because of that. So tell me a little bit about it. ¿Cómo se sintió en este módulo? ¿Qué le pareció? I felt, I felt good with you and you have been the, the, the best English teacher. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> have I, you ever met? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. That, that makes me feel very proud. Thank yeah, you. Other teacher, there are um, some, como puede decir, metodicos. <laughs> Hagan el manual. Hagan la clase. Ya vengo. Sí, 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 exactamente. <laughs> Así, yeah. entonces, no sé, quizás es una forma muy mecánica de, 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 de enseñar. Tiende a ser un poco aburrido a veces. Y realmente este módulo ha sido muy divertido. <risa> sí, yeah. la, la pasamos divertido. <risa> Hacemos lo posible. Sí, yo me imagino, de, de, bueno, yo a veces vengo sumamente agotada, cansada del trabajo y digo yo, 
o sea, ponerles un poco más de aburrimiento a la vida, no, es not possible. O sea, para que este momento, o sea, a veces las dos horas que estábamos juntos, yo digo, para que ellos se sientan bien disfrutando de, del hecho de aprender. Entonces, eso es como mi, mi finalidad y que ustedes se sientan bien, se diviertan, se relajen un poco y no se sientan con aquello de estoy en clase y tiene que ser todo tan serio y cuadriculado. ¿verdad? Entonces, ese es como el, el por qué. Y es que eso, digamos que se nota a las personas que les gusta lo que hacen. Y como dijo usted, que no se siente el tiempo. No. O no se siente un algo como que se diga, ay, otra vez voy con estos bichos que ni apoyan. <risa> no, no, para nada. Pero en general, Magdiel, eh, ¿qué le pareció el curso? ¿Cómo le pareció el uso de, de la plataforma, los ejercicios, el manual, todo eso? Todo el, el, pues... el desarrollo que tuvimos. Muy bien, no sé si alguna vez se lo mencioné que yo sentí como que era como un repaso de algunos temas que uh -huh. ya habíamos visto. Quizás la mayoría de los temas que ya los habíamos visto en módulos anteriores. Uh -huh. no sí, si ajá, justo es como el, como el cierre de todo, o se veían como todos los, todos los módulos, ¿verdad? todos los temas pasados. Y yo les decía, era un, un repaso general porque empezamos como simple present, present continuous, eh, The verbs, simple past, and the past continues and the things. So, tratamos de englobar todos los, los temas principales de los módulos anteriores. Sí, ahora con, en cuanto a mí, yo siento que quizás yo soy un poco, poco expresivo, pero, pero siempre estoy escuchando ahí cualquier cosa. Opino, mm -hmm. y, y en mi caso, en mi trabajo, a mí me toca hablar algunas veces directamente con personas americanas. Entonces, Ajá. a veces ellos quieren practicar su español y uno quiere practicarlo. And you say like, no, in English, you say, no, in Spanish, they say. Yo diciéndole, eh, thank you, thank you. Y ellos, oh, gracias, gracias. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that, that is a very good example. They're in the American embassy. I mean, you, you have to do the things like that. And it is good that you have an opportunity to practice. And if you have the chance to continue practicing with someone at the embassy, or at the place that you work, do it. Because it, it, is, it is very nice that you have native speakers there. Ahí tiene los nativos del idioma. So it's like sí. very, very, very no, important. Como usted decía, escucharlos a ellos, hablar su español, quizás es como, como nos escuchan ellos a nosotros. <laughs> yeah, and you know what is the most curious thing? Is that when they listen to us speaking in English, they feel happy. And they say, hey, he's trying to do it. She is trying to do it, to do it. Because uh, I have never met a person who speaks English and criticize you for being practicing. Yo nunca he conocido una persona que habla inglés, o sea, un nativo del idioma, que critique el hecho de que tú estés tratando de hablar su idioma. Al contrario, se sienten así como, hey, they can speak English, that's nice. Que okay. nunca te van a decir, ah, no, se equivocó en el término gramatical, se equivocó en el tiempo, se equivocó en el verbo. No, what they are going to be careful about is the message, okay? You have to be careful about the message, and if you can transmit the message, for sure, communication, it's going to work. So, yeah. Magdiel, uh, I really invite you to continue practicing. If you have the native speakers there, Take advantage of that, practice your English, and you are doing a very good job. I know you are going to continue doing great stuff. Okay, teacher. I really appreciate your time. You are staying here. And these minutes that we share together, thank you for uh, being here with me. Thank you, no, Magdiel. Thank, thank you for your teacher. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. And I hope to see you it in was, the next module. I, I, it was you know. a pleasure, teacher. No, for me. For me, it was a pleasure as well. So whatever you need, you have my number, so let me know. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Magdiel. Have a Thank good you. night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.